What's going on guys, Killer6, and today marks the introduction of a new series on my channel that I'm calling Revenge of the Nerfs. This will be a weekly series where we take a look at items, builds, and other things that have been nerfed via patches or hotfixes by Gearbox. So before we begin, let's start with what a nerf actually is. A nerf is when something is changed in a way that reduces its effectiveness or viability in a game. Each item that I cover on this series has absolutely been nerfed by that definition, but are they no longer useful at all or have their nerfs been greatly exaggerated? In each episode, I plan to determine just how much each thing has been affected and if Gearbox went too far or if the nerf was right on point. But I encourage you guys to chime in in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think. On the premiere episode, we're covering the Crossroads. At launch, this Hyperion SMG was one of the most highly sought after weapons since it had a massive burst of projectiles that would annihilate enemies in quick succession. Before the nerf, this gun had a times four multiplier on it versus how it is now with only a times three multiplier. Additionally, they decided to reduce the accuracy of the weapon by making the spread of the bullets larger and thus making it tougher to land all of your shots on most enemies. As you can see in this pre-nerf footage playing now, even without the proper matching elements on these enemies, the crossroads made quick work of them. To test the weapon now, we could use a non-anointed level 50 variant and avoid mayhem levels, but I feel like mayhem is such a big part of endgame now on Borderlands 3, so I want to test this weapon on Mayhem 4. However, since I have footage of me using it on True Vault Hunter mode without mayhem in the Proving Grounds, I will also match the element that I was using in my old footage to see the difference. So let's begin there. In this side-by-side -side comparison, the one on the left is the original pre-nerf version, and the one on the right is post-nerf, both using cryo variants with no anointments. Now, judging by this, the crossroads appears to be just fine, still killing enemies very quickly, but let's take it to the Mayhem 4 and use the proper element and see how it fares. When using the proper element with a version that is anointed for action skill end, which actually doesn't help this particular Zane build since my action skill will normally stay up pretty much constantly, the crossroads performs very well. I'd argue that it's still even a top 5 SMG even after the nerfs. The main drawback of the accuracy or spread of the shots doesn't feel all that bad. Granted, it was originally like a laser with the projectiles all hitting very close to one another, but even now I can hit targets from much further away than I expected and still kill them easily with this gun, even on Mayhem 4 without anointments that benefit my build. If anything, I think that the reload speed is the worst part of the gun, as the reload is often pretty brutal. So let's sum this up. Was the gun truly nerfed? Yes, sort of, but not in a crippling way. I do think that part of what made the nerf on this gun seem so extreme was that the nerf came around at a time when players were first starting to venture into mayhem modes and anointments were few and far between. This meant that while enemy difficulty was on the rise, this gun was also taking a hit in its DPS. This shift led to a mindset, even with me, that this gun was no longer worth using. But as you can see in my footage, this gun is still very much viable and, like I said earlier, most likely still a top 5 SMG in Borderlands 3. Another thing to note is that there wasn't a dedicated drop source for the gun around the time of its nerf, so getting a good variant with better reload speed or quality anointment was a matter of pure luck. Now that this weapon has been added to the dedicated loot pool of Kanagawa Jr., it's much easier to obtain. With the recent changes that Gearbox made with loot pools having increased drop rates and increased anointment rates, it is absolutely much easier to get a good version of this gun now. So I hope this episode of Revenge of the Nerfs was informative. If you enjoyed it, please take a second to hit that like button. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.